This is the ACT Recoil Rig from Sakuto. The Cinema 5D Virtual Show is brought to you by B&H, the professional source for all your video needs. CVP, the leading specialist in creative cine, video and photo solutions. Atomos, better monitoring, better recording. Nanlite, professional lighting solution. And Light Magic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. Welcome everybody to the Cinema 5D virtual show, our virtual replacement for the NAB that never happened. Today on the video call, I have Steve Weiss from Sakuto in Chicago. How are you? Good. How are you doing, Nino? Well, good. I guess we are all locked into our homes or studios, no matter where we are in the world right now. Uh, but we're trying to make the best of it, I guess. So today we will talk about something new that you recently announced. It's called the ACT Recoil DSLR Rigs. What are we What are we looking at here? What is it? Well, um, you know that we're all about you know being able to use things handheld on a tripod in gorilla mode and all these different modes. That's always what we've sort of focused on. And one of the things I really like about these smaller cameras, the mirrorless and the DSLRs, is that they're light. I mean, that's what's great about them. And but the the gripe has always been is that they're not ergonomically easy to use. And the idea here was to make it ergonomically easy to use. And I got to admit, I mean, I like these cameras and getting them up on your shoulder and holding them like this and doing all these things. It's nice. It's light and it's really nice. So what's different from, I mean, you guys have made, have been making DSLR rigs for, you know, since, since the 5D Mark II. So basically forever since there was the DSLR revolution over 10 years ago. What's different with the new one? One of the things about when we had the VCT uh, is that it, it wasn't really designed to work with, you know, mirrorless cameras. So we created this ACT, which is a bit lighter. It also doesn't need the VCT plate. You know, a lot of people don't want to have to buy that. It's big. Uh, some of these tripods are kind of small. So now you can use the ACT stands for ARCA compatible Oh, that's actually good. I didn't think of that before. ARCA compatible CT. <laughs> um, but the point is, is that we want to now, if you look at the front of it, it, it has an ARCA plate and it doesn't have the VCT triangle. So if you have your own ARCA plate, you can plop it on there. And I'm going to show you later on how you can actually uh, remove the camera's cage. You can work without a cage. You can, and all of these things can go on a tripod or be reconfigured within seconds, go in a case. Um, and the whole thing is sold as a kit and the price is really economical because it includes a free EVF, which is you have to have an EVF to use this, to use anything on your shoulder properly. All right, Steve, can you show me how it works? Let's take a look at the components. So it starts with the cage, which we have for many different cameras, although you can do it without a cage. and We're going to show you that later. The free EVF, the ACT base plate, the right trigger grip, the tactical handle, and the Axis Micro. So let's put this together and you can see how it works. Over here, I'm going to start with the ACD base plate and I'm going to remove the red plate, which you can use if you go cageless. I'm going to grab the camera that has a cage. You can see the ACT is built in to the cage. I'm going to slip it on. The, look at that. It goes in so easy. You'll know approximately where it goes once you learn the system a little bit. You put on the right trigger grip and you lock it in. You grab your tactical handle. Now, this is what's interesting about this handle. It has a lot of features, but you see how it rotates? So it can be used as a side handle or a top handle. Again, built in rail into the cage. I lock that in like that. I tighten the handle. I put in the EVF uh, access micro, which is the EVF mount. Now here you can see on the EVF, we built in what we call our saucy joint. And that's that, that fluid head type movement that you really need in an EVF. Originally we were not gonna do that, but because of cost, but then we decided you have to have that or it just really stinks. All right, so I'm gonna tighten that just a little bit. So now you can see I got just the movement I want. And on my shoulder, you just flip this down and you kind of get everything right where you want it. Okay, you can see that this is super light. Now I can also just flip that up 
and boom, it's on the ground. I can even flip this back. I can remove this. And now it goes right in your case like that. Now we're going to take this little teeny tripod. We're going to move this here and I'm going to show you how you can come on and off the tripod easily. So here you have your ACT built in and you just clip it right in and with a twist you lock it. Now I'm on tripod use. If I want to remove it, I can do this and I'm back on my shoulder. I mean this is pretty quick stuff from what we're used to. Now let's say I want to remove the camera. I can remove the EVF if I want. Now I can put the camera directly in there. So now I, I can be on a tripod and just have that. Let's say I want to do guerrilla style shooting. It's like all these parts do different things. So I loosen this and now I rotate the handle and I slip it on like this. Now I can pop it off. Now I'm shooting gorilla style. Put the top handle back up like that. Loosen this. Okay, now we're gonna remove it. Now I can do like, I, I'm, I can go over here and you can see I'm doing a low mode shot. Now we're going to show low mode in a different way. So you happen to be, whoops, you happen to be where your VCT was mounted to the camera cage. Okay, that's locked in. So now I can remove this. I'm on my shoulder if I want to do shoulder shooting. Let's say I want to do low mode shooting. I put the handle back like that. And I'm doing low mode shooting again. That's a really cool system, Steve. So, um, I mean, you guys do a lot of other rigs also. Is the ACT recall system, is your plan to replace all the other systems that you have, all the rig systems with this one? No, 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 no. The, the bigger cameras really work better on the VCT system. It's more robust. The parts are bigger. It's, 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 it's really just for uh, uh, DSLRs and for mirrorless cameras. If people are using a cage uh, with a DSLR or mirrorless, you guys have cages for a lot of the popular cameras, right? Yes, we have cages for most all of the mirrorless and DSLR cameras, and we have a universal cage. So that will work with any camera, but you can check the website and see which camera you have. Now the packages come with the six components uh, and the cage for your camera. So you would order the one that's right for your camera, or you could order the one that has no cage, you know, and you can use, if some people don't like using a cage, and I get that, or you can order the one with the universal cage and it'll work with all of your cameras. Cool. So the, the EVF you're shipping the recall, ACT recall with, is that a new development or is that the EVF that we knew like from some years ago when you first started doing EVFs? No, it's, it's a new EVF and some, some people wanted a 16 by nine EVF. So this is a 16 by nine EVF, but it has the Zacuto optics, it has anti-fog, it has a diopter, it, and we have drop-in diopters if you need them. So it has all the features that we had in the old EVF. Um, it works with Canon batteries. Um, so that's kind of great. If you don't have a battery system and you're running your camera on its own battery, this can power itself. If you have a power system, this has a, a DC in, so you can power it as well. All right, that's, I think that's pretty comprehensive for a rigging system. So you, I think you have a lot of different options on your site for the ACT recoil rigs. Can you just give me you know, pricing and availability on some of those options? Yes, uh, all of the cage systems, no matter what cage you have, are 1450, and that includes all six components, including the EVF. The cage list version is 1050, and it has a slightly different uh, EVF mount, which we're gonna show in a bit, and it only includes five components. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how you can use the ACT system without a cage. Now I get it, some people don't want a cage. Some, you know, they just wanna be able to hold their camera in the way they do, and that's cool too. So I put the ACT camera plate on the camera, and now it, it can just slide right into the uh, VCT base plate. And I know that I like it pretty much all the way up, so I'm gonna lock this in. 
And now I grab the, we're now calling this the ACT curve. And what's great about this is, so this was a very hard thing to figure out because uh, without having a top handle to mount the EVF off of, it's, it's kind of complex. So, so now, here's how the curve works. You slide it on the rod here and it goes, you know, you, eventually you'll learn where it goes. Uh, but the nice part of this, watch when I go ahead and put this on my shoulder. You kind of have a handle over here, which I like. Um, and I put this on my shoulder and, and your hand kind of butts up against there. And, and now I can focus the camera really nicely. Now you don't have a top handle, that sucks. But, you know, there are gives and takes for being able to work a camera without having a cage on it. We're gonna talk about the tactical handle, which is something we're really proud of. So the tactical handle has a million features to it. One I'm gonna show you right now is that the, it's actually got rail built into it. So like I'm gonna slide our rail arm on here and now you can, you know, have an articulating arm and uh, you can just like, if you wanna remove something off here, you just boom, that's it. So that's pretty easy. You also have your quarter 20s and 3 8 16s with the airy locking pins. And now I'm gonna move this away and show you some other features of the tactical handle here. So you also have a uh, rod lock so that you can put an EVF in there. Uh, we, we talked about how it's rotational, so you can put it and you can hear it. It locks into these various positions. And when you're holding it in uh, as a gorilla handle, it has a cold shoe on this, uh, on the top. When you're using it as a uh, top handle, it has a cold shoe this way. And it's rail based. All right, thank you, Steve. Very interesting. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. Stay tuned to Cinema 5D for more from our virtual show, a lot more product news, and also a lot of talks with very, very interesting filmmakers. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.